Okay, in this video, I want to introduce some iterating over a string and, and using concatenation to build a new string, but using some decisions about um, what I want to concatenate. So not just like iterating and visiting every other letter, but actually determining something about the letter before I concatenate. So I've got myself set up with a scanner. I've asked the user and, and grabbed some text from them. I'm going to make a function. Um, I'm going to have it return type string because, again, we're going to build a new string and return uh the result of that to the caller and I'm gonna call this guy what do I want to call it let's call three two no e two three All right, and this guy is gonna take as parameter a string that represents the original text and what I want to do is I want to go through this thing and I want to switch out any occurrences of the letter e for the number three so we'll do a little bit of a replacement so I need to make myself a new string on which to build um, my variation so I'll create that guy and I'll initialize it to an empty string which is just quotes next to each other then I'm going to iterate over this original one so let me start at index 0 and go up to the length of this and I want to visit every single one this time so I'm going to count by one and then inside here I am going to access one letter at a time so that's always the same i comma i plus one and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a decision about it and I don't want to keep calling this guy so I'm going to save the letter it pulls out in a little tiny temporary thing. Let's call it let for letter. And that's just saved in there um, momentarily so I can make a decision based on it. So I'm going to say if this guy dot equals ignore case because I want to pick up both capital and lowercase e's. I'm going to check if this guy equals ignore case e. Then what I want to do is I want to concatenate onto my variable s, um, the number 3 instead, okay? Otherwise, I'm just going to concatenate on what I just pulled out, which is inside let. And that way I don't have to call this substring um, more than once. I've got it saved in here so I can make my decision based on it, and then I can oop, use it to tack on to my string if I need to. And so my for loop goes, there's the end of my for loop, and at the end of this I want to send back to main that s, um, that now has all the E's replaced with 3's. So let's try this out and see if it works. I'm going to just go ahead and print the result that comes back. So let's call this guy, let's E23, and I'm going to hand it the variable text, and let's see what happens. Run this. Alright, let's say, let's say, uh, what should we say? Meep, meep. It's like the road runners here. Alright, so I've got my E's and they are replaced with 3's in all instances where they occur. Let's just prove to you real fast that equals ignore case works. Alright, so let's be the best that you can be. Alright, so we got some lowercase and some uppercase E's and they have all been replaced by 3's. So that works. Cool.